Idaho staying in stage four once again for at least another two weeks. Not much news coming out of these Idaho rebounds news conferences lately. Governor Little announcing for the seventh time that we failed to meet the requirements requirements that is to move out of the final stage of Idaho's reopening plan. The biggest reason? Well, the number of people hospitalized still too high. The actual burden of what how many people are in the hospital total um, are actually slowly declining over time. Not again, not where we want to be. You know, we don't like to, we don't want to see anybody in the hospital and our number of patients in the intensive care has actually remained more steady and not gone down as much as the total hospitalizations. So we are happy to see hospitalizations going down, no doubt about that. But in the Treasure Valley, for example, particularly, we know the hospitals are continuing to see to have some stresses with with inpatients. Um, I think part of that is referral patterns. We know that some patients do come in uh, from, uh, uh, we were just talking about Oregon, from Oregon, for example, the St. Al system absorbs some of those patients. Um, and we also know that uh, hospital practices keep changing as this outbreak continues. For example, you may be aware that now remdesivir, the antiviral drug, uh, is now, just last week, was expanded where it can now be used for any hospitalized patient, not just for folks in critical care. So those kind of changes can sometimes change hospitalization patterns in a way that are you know, hard for us to quickly understand. Okay, so more on that in just a moment, but here are the numbers. Keep in mind, not all hospitals report their numbers every day, so there is a little bit of wiggle room here. This chart represents the number of people hospitalized, both with confirmed and probable cases of COVID. You can see our low back on May 25th with 15 people in the hospital. And then we continue to climb from there, hitting our peak one month ago on August 3rd with 272 hospitalizations. That was across the state. Right now, about 171 people are in the hospital. Now, this is a look at the total number of patients in the intensive care units with a confirmed coronavirus case. You can see our low happened the week before Memorial Day with just one person in the ICU in the entire state of Idaho. Less than three months later, we peaked at 57. And at last update, 45 people in the ICU as of Monday. So some progress, just not as enough as you heard Dr. Hahn say, but reciting numbers can be, well, numbing without context. And one of the things Dr. Hahn said this afternoon was important when it comes to context. She said hospital practices keep changing as this outbreak continues. And she mentioned the antiviral drug that was just approved for patients, not just in critical care, meaning more patients can be admitted for treatment. And changes like that can alter hospitalization numbers like they didn't before. So keep that in mind and keep this in mind. Ada County remains in stage three. Right now, Central District Health meeting to discuss a petition from a group of Boise bar owners to let them reopen on the condition that they put specific coronavirus prevention measures in place. Things like sanitizing their facilities, safety measures for employees and customers, as well as monitoring, tracking and reporting cases to CDH kind of like what they were supposed to be doing before, right? Well, but because of a cluster outbreak in downtown Boise, all bars and nightclubs in Ada County were shut down back in late June. To remedy that, some have reopened under the guise of a restaurant serving some sort of food to go with those drinks.